Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with The Tapping Flamingo. Today's video, I'm going to show you some goodies I got in the mail today. So before I show you my goodies, I want to give you a little background. So for the last 40 plus years, I have been working on my family history. I find it very interesting and I'm always finding out new things about my ancestors. Recently, like within the last year, it's probably been a year or so, I was able to find my dad's biological father. And guess what I learned? I am Italian. So in addition to being Italian, I also have a ton of German in me, and then I have English. So as I am learning my heritage, I want to learn about the people in these countries. Uh, I've known about my German and my English for quite some time. But since I just found out about my Italian, I wanted to do some investigating. And I have over Zoom met some of my Italian relatives. And just the other day, we were talking on Zoom, and we are actually going to meet up probably in about six weeks. I am really excited about that. It'll be my sisters and myself. And so I want to bring them something special. You know, I make jewelry, so I was thinking, is there something that I can make them that they might like? So as I started Google searching, I learned about the Italian horn. And so I'm going to make some jewelry with the Italian horn. So you're probably asking, what the heck is an Italian horn? <laughs> This is what I found. It says an Italian horn is a twisted chili pepper shaped amulet, widely popular across Italy. It is also common outside of Italy among Italians and generations of Italian descendants. When traveling to Naples, you will find red horn shaped talisman charms called, and I hope I say this right, cornicelli, hanging everywhere in the streets. So what exactly is its significance? Well, it is uh, says the horn is uh, gently shaped uh, in red, gold, or silver, uh, symbolic of animal horns, said to being to the sacred moon goddess of Europe. The symbol bears protection for the wearer from the dreaded evil eye. So after I read that, I thought, you know what? I am going to order me some Italian horns, and then I'm going to make something with them, and I'm going to give that as a gift to uh, the Italian relative that I'm getting ready to meet. So I got into Etsy and I found a shop called Miss Val's Findings. And I ordered some things from them. And these are all stainless steel. So I ordered some chain. There's a lot of chain here. This is pretty heavy. And let's see. Since we're talking about the horn, I'll go ahead and show you this first. If I can get it open. This is the Italian horn. And I'm going to be making something out of that and all this. I got some jump rings. These are 4 millimeter, And then I got some, I think these are... Five millimeter, yeah. And this is what I'm going to use to make something. I haven't decided what that is yet. I also found that they had lightning bolts, so I ordered some lightning bolts from this shop also. And I'm going to do something with this in a later video, so stay tuned for that. Right now, though, let's make something with these horns. So I think I've narrowed it down to a necklace. I went from a bracelet to a necklace, and I thought, oh, I could just do her a little charm that she could hang on her purse, and I just kept going back and forth, and, oh, I'm going to do a necklace. <laughs> and um, her birthday's in August, so her um, birthstone is a peridot. This is not a peridot, but it's kind of the color of a peridot, and it's a little heart. So I'm going to make a little charm to hang alongside the horn here. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the jump ring onto the horn and then close it up. This is going to be a very dainty piece. And she's she's actually, from what I can tell, she looks like a very small lady. She's an older lady. She's my dad's age. All right, I'm going to make sure that is closed off there. So we don't want it falling off the chain. Still not completely closed. I don't know if you can tell. There's a little tiny gap there. I don't think it's going to fall off, but I don't want to take any chances. And I think what I the best thing to do. Sometimes these are a little bit too small. Whoop! I'm just dropping stuff all over here. Um, sometimes when these are too small these don't work very well so you can get two pliers and just kind of shimmy them together there we go yeah i think that is together as much as i'm going to get it all right i had to go pick up my mess <laughs> So now I want to go ahead and put this on the chain. Now I could just leave it like that, but I want to put the heart on. And it's just going to be very simple. And I am going to make a wrapped loop instead of a simple loop. I'm just going to wrap it around just a little bit there. Clip it off and tuck that in. And then feed it onto the chain. Oh, I like that. That's going to look cute. Now, I've already got the lobster claw clasp part on one side. Now, I have to put the little jump ring on the other side. This is going to be a very dainty piece. All right, let's see. Oh, I can't see to get it in there. There we go. Sometimes when you're making jewelry, you just have to have a lot of patience. We've got that all closed up. We've got our necklace finished. It's a very dainty necklace. I made it 18 inches. That is the standard for necklaces. It'd make a really nice layering piece, actually. And there it is up close. I'll try to take some pictures of it so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. This green is very, very light, but like I said, it's more of a peridot color because she was born in August. Anyway, I'm excited to meet my new relative and uh, give her this little gift. Let me know what you think. Have you ever heard of the Italian horn? Hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.